Thank you all for your uh, really good comments and messages. I'm impressed by how much I'm learning from, from all of you. And um, yeah, please keep writing and sending. I'm amazed at the feedback I'm getting on virtually all the videos. This particular one uh, deals with scopes and uh, a fellow by the name of Romeo in Australia was thinking about what rifle to buy and I, he ended up buying an R8, which is a good decision, but apparently has to wait a few months or two or three months, something like that. And um, so he was asking about scopes and I realized I've kind of neglected scopes. Some of these are mine, some are not. And I thought I'll just quickly go over some of the main brands. I don't have Vortex and there probably should be other ones on the table, Miopta and so on. But uh, I took other ones that were kind of handy or easy to get a hold of. And um, so Night Force makes a great scope, made in USA, fairly bright. I've taken these all out many times at dusk and at dawn because that's when you can really tell the light gathering qualities of the scope. Um, I prefer second focal plane scopes, although this one is a first focal plane scope. Uh, Schmidt and Bender uh, makes an excellent scope. The glass quality is, is as good as it gets. And as you probably all know, so this one is a classic three to 12 by 50. It's, it's, it's gonna be hard to focus in, in on all this stuff. But um, as you probably know, the scope clarity business is really a game of coatings. And um, it, because it's the coatings that determine what happens with light inside the scope body and in the lens itself and so forth. Uh, but getting back to your request, Romeo, so I mean, if you wanted to put something like a Zenith, this has a very cool shape to it. That's a Schmidt and Bender. It is a 1.5 to 6 by 42 millimeter scope. Um, if you wanted a quicker scope, this one's just plain, not a, no illuminated reticle. This is a Swarovski uh, 1.25 to 4 by 24. Very quick scope. You can tell in here is a battery and it kind of has a, a, a circular illuminated reticle in the middle. Very bright scope. This one, it lets in um, a lot of light from what I could see. Um, I mentioned the Night Force already. You can't go wrong with a Very X2 or a Very X3 Leopold. V very good value. Um, not as bright, um, it, which it, again is just a matter of coatings. This is a one inch tube Zeiss. I thought I should have that on the table. I had to hunt that down. It's um, Conquest and it's a three and a half to 10 by 44. Then I already showed you the Schmidt and Bender. So, I mean, every one of these manufacturers has, um, you know, a whole bunch of different lines of scopes. And the European scopes tend to be brighter. They probably have been hunting in, in poor light conditions for a long time. And the game over there in a lot of places is in, in stands and they, they hunt almost like in the dark. And so their scopes gather a lot of light but uh, Romeo, for, if I had to say, like, just go buy a scope for the R8 you're going to have, I'd, I'd say this one, the, um, the Zeiss. It's, it's hard to beat this scope. It's got an illuminated reticle, but it's just a red dot. It's really simple. That's what I liked about it. This one is uh, up to 12 power, so you got ample magnification. And it's kind of got an interesting finish on it. Uh, I know that the optics are excellent. It's made in Germany. And um, so actually that's Germany, Germany, I think that's Germany or Austria, Austria, so Glock country and uh, USA. This one is a conquest and it says it's assembled in USA. Anyway, I don't know how many people pay attention to where things are made or whether it's even a big deal, but uh, this one is made in Germany and the Zeiss isn't cheap, but if you've got a quality rifle, you may as well put a good scope on it. And it's got the EAW mounts, this particular scope does. So it's easy to take it on and off quickly, actually very quickly. Uh, and that's about it, Romeo. I, it's real simple, um, but you can't go wrong with the Schmidt and Bender or the Swarovski or the Leopold. It all depends on how much you want to spend. But if you were asking me what I'd buy, I'd buy this one. 
And that red dot in the center is so instinctive and so quick um, at whatever magnification. And this is a second focal plane uh, Zeiss. So the, the reticle size is constant uh, relative to the image. And um, I hope I said that the right way. Yeah, that's typically the American way, a second focal plane. And that is, um, is it. So thanks for watching. Hope it helps, Romeo. Good shooting when you get your gun.